Hi everyone, I'm Amber Stobbs, um, midfielder for Crystal Palace FC Women and also uh, director and coach for Equal Focus Football. Here's our brand, you can see it. Um, today I'm going to do our live session for you and I can't wait. The first thing we're going to get started with is a warm-up. So I'm going to do something a little bit different to what's out there. Um, I'm going to do some ladders. Start with off the ball stuff, just two feet in each one. You can turn around and do it here, and then lead with the other foot. Inside, we really want to get moving. Get inside, feeling brave, do it backwards. Take the ball, what you do, make sure you can see. I'm on the ladder for a second. Ten jumps each side. Perfect, okay, should be feeling a little bit warmer now. Today we're gonna do some things like a uh, warm up. We're gonna do ball manipulation. So we need to be moving the ball and taking care of that. We're gonna do dribbling, and then we're gonna focus on turns. <sighs> Today here with EFF uh, on your live Saturday morning you are going to be doing first off a warm up then you're going to do ball manipulation um, some dribbling and then some turns Starting. We're going to continue with the warm up. Um, so you're going to do 10 inside steps and then again through the ladder and then toe taps through the ladder. So I'm here, you're going to go through the ladder with one hop. Okay, so I'll have my outside leading and then we're going to do the other way. I'm going to leave it to the left. And back with the left, so your left is leading next, next to the cones. Very good work. I'm going to do sideways over the ladders. So this is just to keep us uh, getting warm, you can carry on, but also we're going to do all throughout the ladders. If you don't have ladders, you can use things like your drink bottles, shoes, stones, pebbles, anything you have in your garden. I want this to be for everyone. Realistically, all you need is yourself and a ball, and if you have these things, it still works. One foot hop, good. Go two up, come back, two up, come back, two up, come back. Okay, good work. So make sure you're warm if you need to stretch anything. Go ahead, give it a stretch. Doing a little bit of these later on. Put that on. Just grab it on your knee. 
Okay, so now on to, we've done some warm up. We're going to talk about a little bit today, we're going to do some football movements. Because I know when you're at home, it's probably a bit hard to do football movements, or you might think it is. So, without the ball first, it's part of a warm up. Sideways, sideways that way, always facing the same way. Sideways, and then we go the other way. Forward, and then back, forward, and then back, to keep them warm. We'll do it all together now, and I just showed you. Sideways, and the other way. So you've got a nice triangle going in. Forward, back, forward, back. Okay, brilliant. Hopefully you're feeling warm, grab yourself a drink if you need to. the same thing but we're going to do it with the ball so we're going to be moving with the ball first off you can do it any way you want so i'm going to go forward and go sideways and i'm going to go back okay so try new things i just did forwards try new things on this it's your, it's your session i'm just here to help okay try both feet as well This is all about, you can carry on, but this is all about moving the ball in different directions with the ball. A little bit more game-like than some of the stuff you may have been doing at home. Um, now we're going to do the V. Okay, so, so if you can't see, I'm going to go forward to a cone, backwards, forward to a cone, backwards. Forward dribbling, you can do it any way you like. I like to point my toe down as I come on the pitch. Just get with the outside of the laces. You can dribble with the inside, but see what takes you. But today we're just experimenting as a group, so. And I'm gonna go back, so do I turn on it? Take it back. And this side I'm gonna do my left foot. Do I turn on it? Take it back. Okay, so experiment with yourself. Do a couple of those. And keep the turns at the end. So if you can see there, I'll just slow it down for you. I'm going turning with my right and I'm turning with the outside of my right. Okay, I'm making sure that. I'm turning with my left and then I'm turning with the outside of my left. To show you on here, anyone, you're turning with the outside. So you're going past the ball, turn the hips and push it away. Okay, we'll try it with our left. Pass the ball, push it away. You really want to exaggerate your turns. Okay, because if you've got a defender, you don't want to turn and push. You want to get away from that. I'm going to use these cones now, as if I'm a defender. Yeah. I'm going to use these cones now as if they're defenders. So, pushing it back. Now you really want to move the ball. Try it a couple more times. Try a different turn. Okay, so we're going to start now with a one cone drill. Put it so you can see it on every camera. The idea here is to move the ball. The idea here is to move the ball each side of this cone. So we've got one cone. We need to go round it. We're going to go three round one way, three round the other. Three circles round one way, three circles round the other, using as many little touches as you can in this space. Different parts of your feet. around that way, the other way. You make your circle bigger if you're getting busy. Okay, good. 
I'm just getting those little touches on the ball and moving it, okay? Next up, for the D. Different ways you can do this. First way I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it back with the same side of the foot with the inside, push it with the other, okay? Drag it back with the right foot, and push it with the right foot. So go slow for you. Drag it back and push it past the cones. Really want the ball to move beyond these cones so you're not just, you know, not really pressing yourself. It's a bit too easy for me. Hopefully you do it a little bit with more in the game. See, I'm doing it, I'm making it look like I'm uh, doing it a bit slow, but that's just until you get it. So for those that are different levels, might have loads of different levels today. The first step is drag. Okay, and then you can pause it if you want, push it with the inside. Same as this side. Drag, if you need to stop it, push it this side. The next level of that is drag without the stop. So drag, push, and then you can stop it there. Give yourself some time to adjust your feet. Drag, push, stop it there, okay? The next level, once you get used to that, you're gonna practice this in the week, hopefully. The next level and hopefully you can practice it in the week and if you get more used to it, get used to it. I'm going to have to put my hair in a bun. Level the drag push is this is I'm just doing it a bit slowly so you can see pushing my weight through the ball the ball's going I'm trying to keep it under control okay that's that one drag push okay so it was drag sometimes it does help sounds crazy drag inside inside so you find that rhythm and then you can pick it up okay that's that one drag inside the next one Drag outside. It's all about moving the ball. I want you to move with the ball and take it the other way. Drag it, for those that are new to this, and then push, stop. Drag it, wait. Drag it, stop, push. Drag it, stop, push. Drag it. Now, let's try and drag it and stop it with the top. Stop, push. Drag, stop. Drag, stop, stop, push. And when you're ready, you can link the two. Okay? I'm just doing it slow to begin with with you. Just follow it off. When you get used to the rhythm. Drag. See, too far for me. Okay, perfect. That's the drag push. Next drag push different parts so we're gonna go we're gonna go uh, drag push drag push drag push so I'm dragging with one so on this side I'm dragging with the left I'm pushing with the right dragging with the right pushing with the left okay just for you drag Perfect. Next thing, we didn't do kick-ups earlier, so we're gonna put them in now. Those that like kick-ups, and you know I've got a challenge online, if you wanna do this, you can win one month free to our subscription for our app, the EFF app. It is kick-ups, so the way I start these, uh, starter level, or, or first steps level is, you wanna throw it, let it bounce, kick it. And kick it on its way up, so from the side it's, See, I've got a little bend. Some people do them differently, but I do a little bend in my just so I have to kick up a little bit. Okay, so it's not a, it's not a big kick. You can do that, but it's not a big kick. Try with the other foot. Always got to try with both feet. Okay. 
Okay, that's the start of it. If you're having difficulties, um, don't keep your laces too far down. Bring your toe up a little bit, similar to this. Okay, I know the ball's got to go up. Okay, it, so. It's all in the time. When the ball's on the way back up, that's when we're going. Okay, so don't rush this. Take your time. Okay, next level. Bounce, kick, bounce. See? So, bounce, kick. Bounce, kick. Bounce, kick. Okay? Bounce, kick. So you can see, when you get used to it, so let's say you've done, you can do three, easy, you might want to try it. You can do three easy, try the other foot, bounce, bounce. Okay, it's all about timing. And then once you get past that stage, you're going on to the next level. Which is no, let's try this. You can do one, bounce, and then you can try and do two. Okay, I'm doing it all on the same foot but you don't want to, so, so it's one, sorry, stop that. Okay, now I'm alternating feet. Makes it a bit easier. When you get the hang of that, you're gonna go bounce, kick, kick. If you have anyone to pass to, what we're going to do. So, like I said today, the session is all about ball manipulation. Okay, how you're manipulating the ball, and moving it with you in the game. So, if I've got a defender there, like earlier, wagging it and I'm pushing it out that way, that's a good one to use. Um, so we're going to use these cones and we're going to go with going working in different directions. Okay. So if you've got a, I'll, I'll shout them. Um, I'll say forward, back, right and right, left. Sorry. I'll shout them so you can go forward, back, right or left. Okay. In the middle I want us on our toes like you would in a game. If I shout right we're all going to go to the right car. You can do my right or your right. You know, around it, little touches, and back to the middle. Okay, I'm doing it in a small space just so you can see on the camera, but it's better if you can do it wider. Here with me, left. Okay, and remember to use all different parts of your feet, okay? Let's do first round, we're all using the insides of our feet. Insides only, when you're dribbling. Okay, make sure you're in the middle. Maybe we could move the ball while we're in the middle. Can I shout? Forwards! Good. Okay, and we're back on the other toes in the middle. Okay. If you are um, new to this and you, you do want to go slow, I don't worry about my pace. Push up forwards, just get your touches in. Okay, both sides, both feet, over all over the feet. But I'm doing it a little bit. In this one, go at your own pace. I know on that camera you can't see the, the things either side. So we're going in the middle, we're on our toes. Don't have to touch the ball in the middle. Back! So I might start with a drag. Perfect, I'm back in the middle. Okay. I like to stay active, so I'm going to stay on my toes with the ball. If you need a rest, don't worry about it. I'm using all sides of my feet. Everything, as you can see, you can use your soles to roll. You can use the laces. You can use sole to roll back. You can use inserts. Okay. So, let's keep going. Right. Back. Forwards. Good. Now, just by yourself, so I'm not shouting, and you can make your own decisions up, you're going to go around one and another, okay? 
So for instance, if, I, if in my head I say right, I'm gonna go around the right one, and I might come up to the front one, and back to the middle. Okay, so you're making them up, you can go around the left, across to the other side, and back to the middle. Now, just some little tips on what parts of your foot to use, you can use either of them. Take it slow if you're just starting to, to get into it. You can use soles, drag the ball across, just like this, okay? Shoulder your foot, you can use laces, that's how I mainly dribble. My toes down outside of my boot, kind of just towards the outside pushing it. So I come to you so you can see it. From behind it looks like this, okay? Uh, and insides. And anything really, if you can dribble with it and keep control of the ball, you're welcome to do what, uh, be creative, that's what this is all about. So I'm gonna do the two now. In the middle and keep going. When I say go now, we're gonna do that. Go! Remember, round two. Round two. Good. Go! You can see I'm not using my soles enough, so I'm gonna do that this one. I'm gonna challenge myself. Go! Two, keep it up, keep going. Go! Okay, one, stuff different. Right. Okay, now, for this bit, I'm going to start at the top one here. I've got one there and one there. I'm always going to come back to this one, always. Okay? You can do this with me. If I say right, we're gonna go. This one you can do it with me. You're gonna go up to one, back to the other. And this time I want you to use, when you foot, you, I won't always want you facing forwards now. You can fit it sideways, so I'm going that way, I might do inside steps. Coming back, I might do that. Same with the other one. I might soul roll. Coming back, I might do that, okay? Always using different parts of your feet. I really want you to manipulate the ball. I want this to be your best friend. Okay, so you can control it in loads of different ways. Around the ball. Around the cone now, around the cone. Oh, I didn't face forwards. I bet some of you just did that with me. I'm always facing forwards. Good. I'm always facing forwards, so I'm coming back with it. Again, always facing forwards. Right, this time, we're not always going to face forwards. We're going to turn with the ball, okay? This time, when you get to a cone, I want you, when you get to the middle cone up here, I want you to throw in a turn. Okay, we've got loads of different turns. I showed you earlier. Go any way you want around any kind, just make sure you're turning to the middle one. And throw in a coy turn. Okay. So that turn there, you that aren't aware. Coy turn, so you're dribbling. You've got one foot next to the ball. The other foot's going to come round the ball in simple terms. You're going to make a point with your feet not touch them, round the ball, and core turn, okay? So, really close, slow motion. Round the ball, and core turn, push it back, and then you're up, okay? And again, I'm doing it simple and showing you, but in a real game, you wanna, okay? Really make it, exaggerate it. Now, we're going to go with dribbling through the cones. And today's all about footwork and making over the ball. See all the cones? I'm going to push this one back. So, first time you go through, you can use any feet, anything you want. Okay? Keeping it close. Small spaces in between these cones. 
Tell you about that, you want to keep the ball controlled. Give you some time, just going to go through. And then, I'd like you to try and practice something new on the way back. Okay, so you're taking the ball back outside the cone. But I want you to try anything. So I'm going to do two on mine. So, yeah, first time through. Any way you like, any feet. Good. On the way back, for me, I'm going to practice my kick ups and walking and controlling it. That's a bit hard. You can add a bounce. Okay, any way you want. Again, adding a kick up for me. Bounce if you want. Now, going through the cones. We're going to go right foot only. Don't worry for the lefty, left foot people out there. We're going to do both. Right foot only. So you want to use different parts of your foot, okay? And again, on the way back this time, we're just going to do an intro step, get the ball moving. Right foot only. Again, throw in a roll. Good. This time, we're going to do left foot only. Didn't touch the last corner. And then I'm going to do some roll on the way back. Left foot only again. Challenge yourself so you can do it nicer than the first time. Good. Good. Challenge yourself now. Do it first time. Take it a bit easy second time. See how quick and tidy and neat you can get through. So this time you're going to use both feet. Any side of both feet. Okay, that was a start. Second one, like I said. So there's different ways you can do this. I know you can, you can figure it out yourself, but one, one that I just did there was a big push, a little tap, big push, little tap. Okay, that's a quick way. Two cups of first time. See if you can do that with me. It's a big push, little tap, big push, little tap. Okay. Now we need to go through just using the soles. So we can do it slow to start with. Okay. Yeah, it's quite difficult. You do you can do it if you want. Like toe taps like this. So using your soles of your feet only. You can do it taking one way like this. I'm not going to go the back way. Like that. Okay. Now, I want you to go through as far as you can using any part of each foot. See how I'm mixing it? If you can see that, if you can see that, what I'm doing without the cone effectively is the inside outside taps. So, inside outside, inside outside. This is good to practice until you get used to it. But then you're going to want to push yourself, okay? Start doing it in things like cones. Okay. 
one coach of mine also tells me quite a lot of the times, don't, Amber, don't just move the ball, you need to move your body with it, okay? So that one's a bit slack. This inside outside isn't really doing much. You want to exaggerate, get round the ball. Okay? That's the slaloms. Next, we're going to focus on some turns, some turning. So, for this one, I'm just going to have two, my starting point and my turning point, okay? My starting point and my turning point. Yeah, you can see that. Okay. You have got, I want you to do five turns on that cone, whichever you like. Okay, so don't watch me, but this is the example. You're going to go up and you're going to turn half the cone. Okay, then it's my one. Now you've got your freedom to do whichever turn you like. Okay, and I'm just going to practice mine while you're doing yours. Practice them on both feet as well. So now I want you to challenge yourself straight line, okay? You're going to use your right foot to turn five times. So you're going to go up and back to the turn five times. We haven't got that much space, so I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six. Six turns I want you to do, up and forward your cones. We're going to do three with the outside of our right, so you're going past the ball, you're hooking it. And then after three, which we can take you back up there, we're going to do left. Two. On the left side. Then she's so done three. Now I want you to do inside turns. Okay, this is the defender. I'm going to show you some turns that I might do in the game. So, up, brief turn. Foot next to, foot around the ball, push it back. Okay. Next one. Let me do that on the slowly too. Oh, let me do it for myself. I really want a bigger push than that out of it, but I'm just doing it for the demo purposes. Next one, we're going to do just a drag back. Standing here, just drag the ball back. Okay, you're going to let go behind you. Good enough. Drag back. You do a drag back where you turn the ball away. Okay, another thing we're going to take away in practice. See, I'm doing it all right side, so do it left side as well. And the other one is pinch drag back, so the ball's beyond you. I want you to, here it is, pinch it under your body and turn with it. Now I want you to practice going back and forth from the cones. Um, we've done inside left, we've done outside left, inside right, outside right, drag back, which is this one. Okay. And the drag back where you're taking the ball and you're turning it, pinching it under your body and turning with it.
turns, track by yourself, go back and forth between the cones. We're going to do six turns of my choice, you're going to do six of yours. Do it again. Okay, hey, good. Hopefully, you got the turns and you enjoyed that. Clones, practice this as well. Is moving around these clones in a figure of eight to finish off with. That's what we'll do. Okay, so first one, I want you, your hips still to face the camera, face me in this session. Moving around the clones. Ah, no, sorry. Last thing we're going to do to finish off with the ball control is a figure of eight. Okay, so we've got two clones here. This is like the figure of eight, black of bow. So for you at home, it looks like number eight. First thing you want to do is move the ball in between the cones, doing your figure eight uh, exactly how you want. Make sure you're checking your head up. I think a lot of the time, my head's been down today. Um, check your head up. So move in. It's a good point. Head up. So you know where you're going. Once you get used to it, you're going to know where the cones are. So you can put your head up a little bit more. Figured out the best, my favourite way to dribble now. Good, challenge yourself. Okay, let's go round it three times together. Three times, when you've done three times, you can stop. Keep the close to you, little touches, see how many touches you can get in between. Now I want you to do it, but your hips are going to face forwards only. Forwards only, so this time you're going to have to adjust your feet. So I might, you can do it like this. Hips are still facing forward. Now I'm going to show you the Miss Kicks Saturday Sessions Challenge. So you have to upload your attempt during the week, tag myself, EQ Football, tag Miss Kicks, and uh, we'll choose the winner. So this one is going to be along with the session, manipulating the ball. So roll, and then tap, roll, tap. The challenge is to see how quickly you can do 10. Okay, there's a little bit of mine. I can't wait to see yours. Thank you for joining the session. Um, I just wanted to end some, with some really exciting news. EFF, Equal Focus Football, we have launched an app, which this app, the main focus is to allow you to train at home and stay on top of your football. It has different features like skill videos that you can see a coach do and they'll give you some tips and you can copy it and you can tick that off so you can, you can get through the list. We've got beginner, intermediate, advanced. You've got session plans which aim in all different types of the game. So the session plans, we've got technical, we've got tactical, we've got physical, and we've got uh, psychological and social. So you're getting all those of the games. This is for outfield and for goalkeepers. Um, it's an exciting app. It's a monthly subscription and each month we, ex we release exciting footage and exciting content for it. So you can keep up with your training at home. So the EFF app is to allow you to stay focused at home and keep up to date with your football. So it will improve your skills, it will improve your knowledge on the game because we've got some different tasks on there. Next month we've got some really exciting guests um, that will be coming on the app to do Q&As and to show us some ways that they've been trained at home. 
but it's all about training together, be part of something, join our app, it's a monthly subscription, we'll send you some exciting stuff each month, um, and it's a way for you to track and stay on top of your football.